chuckpicks.com Every century, right from the dawn of humanity, probably has seen and witnessed an outbreak that had the potential to wrap the whole humanity and flush us down its throat. The deadliest one was Black Death. The terrifying thing is that it only lasted for 4 to 5 years from 1347 to 1351 AD and yet it took a heavy toll of nearly 200 million people's lives. And today we are here. If you are not someone who lives in a cave then you know what we are facing. Coronavirus is here and the instant when this video is being made it has already swept around 15,000 lives. That's a count that is expected to go up before it goes flat. Things are going to get worse before they get better. But how is this pandemic affecting our lives? Let's try to understand the chain. The best way to save yourself from coronavirus is self-isolation or social distancing. So that would apply to everyone. From the big celebrities to the presidents and prime ministers around the globe to the farmers who provide us food. God forbid, but suppose this lockdown prevails longer than expected. Then this is how it's going to be. Let's begin with our individual lives. Most of those who have white collar job would have always wished for work from home scenario or the apocalypse genre movie lovers would have at the thought of a virus outbreak that will scare the shit out of us. Well, this is how it is folks. Be careful what you wish for. But honestly, this is the time where we will get to know a lot of things about ourselves and our neighbors too. Some of you might be already having an existential crisis, some of you are doing retrospection which is great but this is also a time where you will know how many of your friends and relatives really remember you or think of you and want you to be safe. There might be some disappointments but also some surprises for sure. It will also have an impact on your relationship with your neighbors because if Despite this chaos, they are still checking upon you and are there for you whenever you are falling short of food, medicines and something else, you'll be highly grateful to them for the rest of your life and vice versa. So try to be kind to those who need your help. Now let's stretch the lockdown at a further level. Consider a farmer. He cannot go to the field because he has to follow the social distancing and self-isolation just like everyone else, right? So, it's obvious that crops won't be cultivated on time. The demands would increase as people are gonna put stocks for the emergency period. Seen the movie Bird Box? Well, that's how it's gonna be. So yeah, demand is gonna go up but the supply will remain the same and it would decrease after a while because remember the farmer is not going to the field. So the prices of the goods are likely to go up. And to meet the prices, you must have a source of income that brings you money by working from home because it's a lockdown period, buddy. Now those who can afford the goods will try to have most of it for, again, the emergency period. And the rest of them will have to wait until the government saves them or the situation improves. Now parallel to this, the coronavirus lockdown in China led to an estimated 25% reduction in energy use and emissions over two weeks. Also, the levels of nitrogen dioxide over cities and industrial clusters in Asia and Europe were marked lower as compared to the last year. Now the question is why do we care about nitrogen dioxide emissions? Well, because nitrogen dioxide is produced from car engines power plants and other industrial processes and is thought to increase respiratory illnesses such as asthma. It could reduce the spread of disease. Well, with everything happening because of this pandemic, maybe we will be forced to reconsider our working practices and lifestyles. And maybe we can learn to live in an eco-friendly way more than ever. So what about the vaccine? 
Well, doctors all around the world are trying different combinations to cure the infected ones and to contain the disease and even human trials for the vaccine have already begun in various countries but World Health Organization has announced that a deployable vaccine will take as long as 12 to 18 months and that's the fastest we can get there. This is because the virus has also mutated into two strains or types. That's the bad news but the good news is that the world has never been more geared up to develop technologies against emerging infectious diseases than it is today. So we can collectively say that these are the possible and occurring scenarios of coronavirus and the lockdown that it has caused all over the globe. These are thick times but we can make it through if we take enough measures. Well that's all for this video. Stay safe and maintain social distancing. See you in the next video.